Hello friends, welcome to our reading circle today. I have a story, The Mitten, I would like to read to you all. We're gonna look and see what happens with this mitten and the animals. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted a snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So now mole and rabbit are in the mitten. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty taloons, they quickly let him in. So now there's four animals in the mitten. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not very pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they let him thumb in. See his claws there? That's why they decided to let him in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger 
saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Uh-oh, do you think the fox is gonna maybe fit in that mitten? Let's find out. Let's turn the page and see. Yep, the fox is in there. Oh, and what animal is gonna try and get in there now? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the open space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Uh-oh. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. But look, look at the mittens. One is little, and then what happened to the other one? It's all stretched out. So Baba's trying to figure out what happened to that mitten and why it's so much bigger than the original mitten. Wow, a lot happened in this story, friends. We have so many animals that went into that mitten. So we are gonna do an activity that goes along with this, act with this book. All right, friends, so we just finished reading our story, The Mitten, and now you're gonna help me with remembering, recalling the order in which the animals went into the mitten. So what was the first animal that went into the mitten? When they found it in the snow, who, who was the first animal? It was the mole. He was the first one that found the mitten and decided to climb in and get warm. And then what animal scampered in after the mole? It was the rabbit. The rabbit came hopping along and decided he wanted to get nice and warm. And then Along came the hedgehog. The hedgehog came, and then how many animals were, were in the mitten? There were three animals in there. And then who came and swooped down out of the tree and decided he wanted to join the, in the mitten? It was the owl and they decided that they would move over and let the owl in. 
Then we had the badger. The badger came and they decided, okay, we'll make room for you also. Then the fox. And who was gonna say no to that fox with his sharp claws and sharp teeth? So they made room, even though they didn't think they had room, they made room for the fox. And then who was the next animal that came? The big grizzly bear. Now I know when I was reading the story, I didn't think the bear was gonna fit into that mitten. But was he able to fit in the mitten? He sure was. They had to move over and make space for him. And then the last animal that came in was a tiny little mouse. And then what happened? When the mouse went to sleep on the bear's nose, didn't the bear go make a big sneeze? And then what happened? All the animals flew out of the mitten. And then the little boy was able to find his mitten and take it home to his grandma. Awesome job, friends, helping me put our animals in order from the first animal all the way to the last animal that was in our mitten. Awesome job. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed listening to our story, The Mitten, and then helping me with our activity of all talking about all the animals that were in the mitten. Go find an adult and tell them, see if you can remember all the animals that went into the mitten and tell your, tell your adult what animals went into the mitten and then what happened at the end once the mouse went into the mitten. I hope you enjoyed our reading circle today. See you next time. Bye-bye.